So, 2017 gave us a few good movies, a few great ones, a few okay movies, and some that were cringe-worthy movies. I want you to be the judge of where you think Bright Land. In my opinion, I enjoyed it. It was a good movie, so I loved it. So, now they get the special treatment from Screen Junkies, the Honest Trailer treatment. So, guys, let's check out the brand new Honest Trailer for Bright. What's going on you guys, the name is Perp the Mayor, if you're new here, don't forget to look around, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe down below you guys, so make sure you tell your friends, and you know, leave a like on any videos that you enjoy, so let's check out the brand new trailer, on this trailer for Bright, I said that like 7 times already, so let's do this. From the director of Suicide Squad, the writer of Victor Frankenstein, and Trigger Warning Entertainment, comes an allegory about race relations. From the director of Suicide Squad, the writer of Victor Frankenstein, and Trigger Warning Entertainment. Fairy lives don't matter today. This is gonna be a bumpy ride, huh? Let's do it. Right. Log into Netflix, your first choice for prestige television and last choice for movies, to see a film that would have crushed at the box office if buying a ticket were the same as something auto-playing after you pass out during Mindhunter. Don't lie, Netflix. I woke up to an Adam Sandler movie once. Those views don't count. See Will Smith like you've never seen him before. Not as the wild card cop with a by-the-book partner from Bad Boys, or the wild card cop with a by-the-book partner from Men in Black, or the wild card cop with a by-the-book partner from iRobot, or a wild card soldier with a by-the-book partner in Independence Day, or a wild card ex-soldier with a by-the-book partner in Wild Wild West, or a wild card mercenary with a by-the-book partner in Suicide Squad. But a wild card oh cop with God. a by-the-book partner, who's an orc? Whoa. Explore a movie that's more than a cop drama. It's a complicated social metaphor that <clears throat> explores what it Keep means to face, man. be human. Face. We're going to titty bar gunfight die. <laughs> sorry, sorry, couldn't keep it in there. Stop. Blending tired Stop. fantasy tropes with tired buddy cop tropes to explore a world of racial allegories where orcs are stand-ins for the historical mistreatment of black people. And that's pretty much it. Orcs yeah. are black people and one of them is a cop. I need to know if you're a cop first. Or an orc first. If the movie has anything else to say, I guess it's that Mexicans are scary? Oh my God. Yeah, this ain't get out. It's You've not. never seen a premise this interesting get so squandered. <laughs> Where all of the creative possibilities of a fantasy world being part of our own for 2,000 years, everything turned out exactly the same. No, seriously. Our history is the same. Mexicans still get shit for the Alamo. Our businesses are the same. We're in a stolen Toyota Corolla. Even our pop culture didn't change. Take your fat Shrek looking ass back to Fiona. H how does Shrek still exist? Is it a documentary? There's dragons flying around, but our buildings never changed? What's oh, the wow. centaur cop doing? They oh. never even mentioned that. You can't just <laughs> add the word magic and claim it's any different from a normal cop movie. Magic task force. Right. The magic feds. <laughs> so gear up for the film that got burned by critics for either being too woke or not woke enough, mm. but wasted the cool premise of a modern day fantasy world. Mm. None of which will matter to Netflix, because with an infinite amount of money, you can greenlight an infinite amount of stupid ideas mm. to keep an infinite number of people from ever going to a theater again. Well, we had a good run, movies. Now to never leave the house. Oh, yeah. Starring mm -hmm. Will Smith and Dor, or Cop, The Filth Element, and Orlando Doom. And also starring the following bright sequels we write for significantly less than $3 million. Two reporters track down a story, but one of them is a Balrog, which means she's Filipino. A mild-mannered vampire inherits a coffee shop, but there's a twist. Vampires are Guatemalan. And a, a frost giant, but he's a Jew. You know that one, that could be my Star Wars. Yeah, go for it. Edge Lord of the Rings. That was kind of, yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, she's all right. She's okay. Come on, everyone clap. If you believe. Oh, no, she's dead. Hey, Screen Junkies, check out our newest series, Feature Destinations, featuring tour guides to your favorite movie locations. Click the box on the left, and you can float too in Derry, Maine. Curse you, Perry the Platypus. Peanut butter french fry tacos. The fish banging movie. Come on, writers. It's you never said my part. World. That was honest trailers.
for bright let me know guys do you agree with what screen junkies had to say i feel like they were pretty much on par um even though i enjoyed the movie i still felt like it wasn't you know all that so um th there's a sequel coming i don't know when that's gonna happen but it's gonna happen guys so um yeah so that was honest trailers for bright um guys let me know what you think down below if you enjoyed my reaction don't forget to leave a like um don't forget to subscribe also i want to thank you so much for watching thank you for stopping by thank you for showing love thank you for you know if you're new here guys thank you thank you if you, if you even if you're not gonna subscribe thank you for watching this video so don't forget to leave a like all right guys i will see you in the next one peace